am sure there are a number of different reasons that one may stay involved with a narcissist even after they are aware of what the partner is. I think it depends on many factors, and I will provide one example which is my mom. She married my dad very young, while in college still and when she got pregnant by him early in their courtship. They went on to have many kids, and my mom was never able to finish college or secure a career, due to our large family and her strong desire to nurture, build a happy loving home, be 100% available to her kids, and be very involved in our lives, sports, activities, etc. over the years. My dad would be diagnosed with NPD if he would go for therapy, I have no doubt. He never wanted my mom to work outside of the home, and when she did, she was regularly hit on and admired by men. My dad knew what men can be like, and he knew that if my mom was exposed to other decent men, then she would see that there is better out there. She has always been a beautiful, kind and highly intelligent woman. She is far more intelligent and insightful than my father has ever been, and he liked to keep her in a place of inferiority. He never liked her learning anything technology-wise, and always attempted to sabotage her from being able to communicate with family or friends via email or internet in any way. He kept my mom as isolated as possible over the course of their 50-plus year marriage and he wanted her home with kids all around to keep her time occupied. I always knew something was off with the way my dad playfully belittled, groomed and conditioned my mom, but it wasn't until I myself dated a narcissist that it all became clear. In my research and education to find out more about why I ended up in a four-year relationship with a narcissist, I began to see my father in everything I read about. I shared this all with my mom and it was a life-changing experience for her as she finally stepped out of the fog she had lived in for her entire marriage. She has been overwhelmingly relieved and freed as she has confirmation that she was not the one who was, crazy, as my dad so often called her. She has been able to share her stories and experiences to help other young women and men who are in similar marriages or who have escaped the abuse of a narcissist partner. Although my mom knows full well that my dad is a narcissist, and that the mental, physical and verbal abuse she has suffered at his hands was wrong and unacceptable, she has decided to stay with him. All of her grown children and some adult grandkids have all encouraged her to leave him and live the remainder of her life as she should have always lived it happy, appreciated, safe and unharmed. She was motivated to leave him last summer and ready to proceed in looking into a divorce and living separately, but then fear set in. Fear of change, fear of the unfamiliar, fear of new, fear of being alone, fear of being independent, fear of being vulnerable, fear of a life she has never known or lived before. At 74, she has spent the majority of her life with a narcissist. Even if he has been terrible to her at times in those years, it is essentially all that she has known. It is her normal. It is her life. It is what she is accustomed to and what she knows. She knows what to expect even if some of it is what no person should ever have to endure or experience from the person they are married to. She knows the cycle of his behavior, and when to expect a raging tantrum from him. She knows only a life of living in a hyper-vigilant state and always drained and depleted of energy and joy. She has never known what it is like to be pulled close and hugged and held in a loving way to ease her pain and simply to comfort her. She has never known an affectionate touch from her husband for merely love and affection, but only touched for the sole purpose of his self-gratification in sex. I weep regularly for my mom as I sit by with a front row seat watching her live this life that she knows is awful. She has accepted it and accepted that this is all she will know until her last day on this earth. I watch other couples her age and see the man treating his wife as my mom has always deserved to be treated, and I want to shake her and make her leave my dad and find that kind of love and genuine care and security. It is not my decision to make and it is not my story to live. The important thing is that she now has validation and reassurance that she is the normal one and he is the narcissist monster. Why do people continue to stay with a partner once they are aware that the partner is a narcissist? I can't answer for everyone, but I know that unless you live in that situation, you can never understand their reason for remaining with the narcissist. We can only love them and support them as best that we can. We can make sure that we bring happiness, love and safety to their life in other ways to provide relief from their normal everyday life with the person who betrayed their vows, to have, to hold, to love and to care for, for all the days of their lives.